the podcast for when the curves line up for November 28, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.55 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 4.22 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. At three hours before daybreak, the bright moon is about halfway up in the western sky. Venus and Jupiter are low, near their respective horizons. The gap between them continues to widen as Venus steps quickly eastward and Jupiter slowly retrogrades, appears to move westward compared to the starry background. On December 10th, Jupiter sets when Venus rises. After this date, the Jovian giant sets before Venus appears above the horizon. This morning the Venus-Jupiter gap is over 165 degrees. By an hour before daybreak, the bright moon, 99% illuminated, is over 20 degrees above the west-northwest horizon, it is 4.3 degrees below Elnath, Taurus' northern horn. The moon appears to be skewered by the bull's horn, clearly not a good place. Look for the moon this evening. Farther eastward, Venus is nearly 30 degrees up in the southeast. Tomorrow, it passes Spica, Virgo's brightest star, in a wide conjunction. This morning it is 4.4 degrees to the upper left of the star. The planet is headed towards Ibn el Janubi, one of the scorpion's claws, with a conjunction occurring December 17th. This morning Venus is over 20 degrees to the upper right of the star that is about 7 degrees above the horizon. Mars, appearing to move slowly against the celestial backdrop, rises less than 20 minutes before the sun and is not visible from the bright light. In the evening sky. For Northern Hemisphere sky watchers, Mercury seems to struggle to make an appearance in the southwest after nightfall. At sunset, it is nearly 10 degrees above the southwest horizon. 45 minutes later, it is only a few degrees above the horizon. Prospects improve somewhat during the next week. At one hour after sundown, Saturn is over 35 degrees up in the south. It continues a slow eastward slog against Aquarius, but the bright moon that is just above the east-northeast horizon washes out the dimmer stars. The planet is 7.2 degrees to the upper left of Deneb Algdi. Both may fit tightly into a binocular field of view, but these views are limited with Saturn's eastward movement. Farther eastward, Jupiter stands nearly 30 degrees above the eastern horizon. It is retrograding in front of Aries, 11.3 degrees to the lower right of Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and 13.4 degrees above Menkar. Use a binocular to spot the stars in this moonlight. During the night, Jupiter and Saturn appear farther westward and the moon is higher in the eastern sky. By three hours after sundown, Saturn is in the southwest and Jupiter is in the southeast. The bright moon, 96% illuminated, is 20 degrees up in the east-northeast. Tonight, it is to the left of the bull's horns, Elnath and Zeta Tura. In celestial artwork, this is a precarious place. Saturn in the west-southwest sets before midnight. Jupiter is low in the west when Venus rises nearly four hours before daybreak. Tomorrow morning the bright moon is in the western sky. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.